Hello, this is Paul Clinton with Police Magazine. We're here at SHOT Show 2012. Uh, we're at the 511 Tactical booth, and we're here with John Christ, uh, sales and marketing here with 511 Tactical. And uh, you guys have some new uh, entry tools here for patrol officers that you're going to show us. What, what's new uh, this year? Well, we're, I think the tool that we found the most interest in is what we call our light kit. And this is really designed for your patrol officer to use. It's going to be in the back of his patrol car. He comes out in an active shooter situation, and he needs to gain access to the building. If you look at what happened, like in, in Virginia Tech, they put the chains around the door, and the officers were all there, but they didn't have the tools to get through the door. And that's what this kit brings. The first now, thing, Go ahead. Now, what, what do we have in here, the light kit that, that is or is not in the heavy kit or is different? Well, you, if you look back at the, at the heavy kit, there's a number of pieces, and if you go all the way up to the rams, you know, it's a 50-pound ram, not going to go in the back of very many patrol cars with all the stuff that they're carrying. So that's it's a big tool. Where you come into this, you have your ram, you have your pry bars, you have your rake and brake all there. All comes in a small bag, small enough to fit in any patrol car. Has a sling over the top of it, so again, if they're running through a building, they get up to the second story, they're still going to have the equipment. Some of the things that make this and all of our heavy tools a little bit unique, and I don't know if you can see all the details on this, but the way that this is tapered and curved, and then with the striations and everything in here, when I come up to a door, I'm able to take this, and literally with the palm of my hand, I can set this in the door, and because of the way it's designed, it's going to stay. For traditional Holligan tool, if you hit it in there, it's going to have a tendency to drop and fall. And for me, is that I can come in and I can become a one-man team that I can set this, strike, pry, strike, pry, all at the same time because this is going to stay in position. The other thing that you're going to find with this, with a little bit wider of a head in here, it gives you a lot better mechanical advantage. Usually with the Holligan tool, you can push with the tool or you can pull with the tool. With this, because of the way the head is, I can also use my mechanical advantage to go in underneath the lock and push down. Or if you're at a door that has a lock up here, I can now come up here and I can pull down. Again, mechanical advantage, if I'm trying to push or pull from this dimension, I don't have much advantage. Again, if I have a, a lock all the way down here, I can do the same thing to pull on that. Now, are, we're talking uh, uh, mostly about the, the typical residential wooden door. Uh, do these tools handle security doors and metal doors? The, we, we find that this tool will go through about 90% of all doors in America, whether, whether it's a double inward opening door that you're going to find at a school or a cafeteria, a movie theater, whether it's a, a, a glass door into a bank, like if you see the rake and break here, that they can very quickly use this to go in and rake the glass. The other nice thing about this is if you're in one room and you need to get into the other room, you can take this and go through drywall. And the other nice feature on this, if you notice the way that this is all tapered, and we kind of took this technology from Goff. If you're familiar with the way they have shaped heads in Goff these days, it used to be your sweet spot was about this big, and if you didn't hit it just right, the golf ball went every which direction. Yeah taking that same thought process by doing the taper on the head, even if I'm in very tight quarters when I go to use this, I may not have the best angle of attack on it, but because the sweet spot has been enlarged by the way the head is designed, I'm taking that inertia and driving that, that weight into the correct place, which is going to make me much more efficient when I'm, when I'm using this as a ram for the doors. So again, we continually trying to work on better products. Now, 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 briefly, John, tell us about some of the applications we would see this being used in. Uh, would it be, for example, a, a, a search warrant um, a service call where potentially SWAT is not available? Well, SWAT may or may not be available. But again, most of your teams, if they're a high, you know, fugitive warrant team, they're, they're, they're a drug team, they've gone out and they've done their recon. So they know what they're going to be attacking. And they may say, hey, you know what, that's just a commercial door, a standard door. We know how to get in it. This is the right tools to use or in their recon they may say you know what the guy's got three deadbolts on there it's you know security cages everywhere we need to bring the heavy kit and it you know that's that's the nice thing the, the teams out there of just having a variety of tools what is the right thing when we get ready to go to go the other nice thing about this is they may use this to get in the, the front of the door but because that's all heavy it's a two-story building it's a you know it's a large building they go this being lightweight one of the officers can take this on his back so if they do get up to that second door and the guy's barricaded himself into a bedroom or whatever they still have the tools available to quickly gain access to that door because uh, even though uh, patrol officers are not tactical officers in the sense that they're not on a SWAT team you know they are tactical officers in the sense that um, you know they run across these situations that that need to be dealt with don't they well it, it used to be in the past if you were a patrol officer 
something happened, you secured the perimeter and waited for the cavalry to come. Today, a patrol officer, they all, they're all tactical officers. They don't wait anymore. Their job is to go in and stop whatever is happening. That's where you have active shooter, first responder, whatever vernacular you want to use. Every officer today is a tactical officer. They no longer wait for somebody else to come to do the job. They're tasked to go in immediately because time is important. I mean, if you look at, at Virginia Tech, if they would have gained 30 seconds what the outcome it would have been immensely different and it's it, you know and it, it's it's an evolution they didn't used to have ars in the back of their car they didn't used to have tasers you know there's all these things and that's that's the fun thing for us at 511 is just to be able to partner and say what do you need how can we be a better supplier to you what what difficulties are you running into oh hey we can help you with that and we go back to subject matter experts like if you notice this is called set and that's as Lars has been there. He's an active guy, been doing it for 20 years. Now, John, final question. Give us a few details on the on the the light entry kit. Uh, when might this avail be available, and and potentially what what would it cost? Um, you're looking at availability in May. We're we're to all of the fr final prototyping. It's got the final specifications on the steel, so we're we're excited to bring it to market. And the the light kit, you're looking around $300 for the kit. Fantastic, sir. Thank you very much for your time. It was great speaking with you. Paul, thank you so much. Have a good show. Have a good show. Have a good show. Thank you. <laughs>